Mark Zuckerberg was a Harvard freshman with a gift for computer programming. Less than a decade later, he is the face of a multi-billionaire power broker that connects over 1 billion people around the world. Currently, he is only 31 and is one of the five founders of the biggest social networking site, Facebook. In 2016, his net worth was established at $48.9 billion which also makes him one of the youngest billionaires on this planet. Today, we tell you the amazing story of this young entrepreneur who became an idol for every startup enthusiast across the world. His coding experience began with learning the Atari basic programming with the help of his father. But he was learning so fast that his dad needed to hire a professional developer just to train him. While he was still in school, he took a college graduate program in computer programming. He built a program called Zacnet where the computer at home could communicate with his father's computer at his dental practice. He also used his creativity to build computer games, often out of ideas his friends would draw from him. In college, he was already known as a programming prodigy due to the work he had done in high school. In the college, he wrote a program called Course Mask that helped students make decisions about the courses they wanted to take based upon the choices of others. In Harvard, the students have books called Facebook where they have names and pictures of people that lived in student dorms. Mark built a website that randomly showed two pictures of males and two of females on it. People that visited the site had to choose which person was hotter. This site was called Face Smash and it went up in just one weekend. It was built just for fun but it became so popular that the college shut it down because of its popularity as it caused the Harvard servers to crash because of the heavy load it caused. And also, some students didn't like the idea of their pictures being used without permission and Mark Zuckerberg was forced to apologize for his actions. In 2004, he began writing a new website which he called The Facebook along with Eduardo Savre, Andrew McCollum, Chris Hughes and Dustin Moskowitz were the other four co-founders of the website. The site was initially just a Harvard site but soon expanded to other colleges and universities. The social project started gaining momentum really fast and Mark Zuckerberg decided to drop out of college and dedicate his time entirely to the website. He and his team moved in a small house in Palo Alto which later became the office of the young enterprise. By 2005, the Facebook was renamed as just Facebook. The site opened up to anyone over age 13 in 2006. By 2007, the site had over 1 lakh businesses listing their companies on Facebook and creating pages. By 2011, it became the largest digital photograph host and had over 350 million people accessing the website. On May 18, 2012, Facebook made its IPO offering 421 million shares to private investors at a price of $38. This set the value of the whole company at $104 billion which made Facebook the biggest business going public till then. Almost everybody wanted to buy a piece of the booming social miracle so raising almost $16 billion from the market was like a walk in the park. However, things didn't went well for the investors just two weeks after the IPO. The market price of the shares fell dramatically by 27% to $27.72 per share. During the next month, the price went down even further, reaching a level around $19. All this didn't make investors really happy. Some of them lost around 50% of their investments in just a few months. Later, more than 40 lawsuits were filed just after the first week of IPO. The price however recovered in 2013 and currently it's around $41. Nevertheless, Mark Zuckerberg has remained true to his initial vision to create a website that the entire world can use to communicate openly and easily with one another. He has turned down many opportunities to sell the site, often for multi-billion dollar sums. He has even turned down chances to increase the site's income from ad revenue, instead preferring to keep the user experience clean and pure. The end result of all this hard work is one of the world's biggest online businesses and an icon of the tech renaissance who's now rubbing shoulders with prominent world leaders. Although its true value is debatable, it's safe to say that Facebook and its creator Mark Zuckerberg are two of the 21st century's most influential. 
controversial and potentially powerful figure.